Hey guys, this is Nathan. I'm one of the logistics experts at IFM Restoration, and I just wanted to show you how to do your daily appointment check-in. So this is when you check on all your appointments for the day before you get started, and that's so that you uh, know where you need to be and when. It's also to make sure that you're prepared for your appointments, and it's also uh, to make sure that we catch any issues before they happen. So let's go into the appointment section um, of the app. That one is about, it's about five sections down right here. Now you may notice just as a side note here that sometimes there's a bunch of different dates on each work order. We have the scheduled start date, the due date, there's also an acknowledge by date. Uh, for right now I'm going to let you know none of these dates actually matter except for one and that is the scheduled start date. This tells you when the appointment starts. Um, so again, we're not using any of the other dates for right now, so you can actually completely ignore them, like the, the due date here on the right-hand side. Um, uh, and, and in fact, often we'll just delete all those other dates to avoid that confusion, as you can see on a, a couple of these work orders here. Um, so if you see a work order without a scheduled date, that's probably because we haven't confirmed an appointment yet with the resident. Now. Um, so about this appointment section here, you'll notice that they are sorted by appointment start date. Uh, so it's in order, uh, but it's also going to include work orders that may be scheduled for the past or for the future. So you might have to scroll down to find today or tomorrow's work orders. Now what you need to do is just every night or early every morning, well before you have to leave for that first appointment, is just open up the app and see what's in there for the day in the appointment section and open each work order and look at three different things. And I'm going to show you with an example. Let's open up this first one, uh, which is scheduled for 8 a.m. today. Um, so the three things you're going to look at is number one, of course, the scheduled start date. So what time do you need to be there so that you can make all your you know, travel arrangements and, and plan for traffic and all that uh, so that you can uh, make sure that you're there on time. And if for whatever reason there's a something that's going to prevent you from being there on time, make sure that you let the LE know, um, and you know reach out to the resident whatever we need to do. The second thing is to look at the work order description, which is going to tell you what um, you know what the work order is related to, uh, and what needs to be done. And if there's anything that they have a question about, of course they'll let a LE or PM know. For example, if there's something in that work order that is out of your scope of work, that would be definitely something that you would need to let them know about. Um, and then the third thing to look at is the notes section. So um, this is where we leave any special notes about what's going on with that work order. Uh, and sometimes there can be very important information for you as the, as the technician. So let me show you an example of that. Um, this, let's look at this third work order here. Um, let's see, let's actually look at this one right here. So scheduled for today at 5 p.m., uh, excuse me, 12 p.m. And the description here says, one piece of vinyl siding was blown off during the hurricane. We found it in our yard and have a piece of it in our garage. So there's a, uh, you know, a piece of material that's in the tenant's garage. Uh, so it's important that we know where that is. Now, if we go into the notes, uh, we can see that the last note w that was left by me um, says Mr. Fix-It. So I'm <laughs> addressing the, the fake technician that I've created uh, for this app, uh, for this demonstration. It says, Mr. Fix-It, I spoke to the tenant. She will not be home, but she will leave the piece of siding on the porch for you. So that's important, obviously, for you to know so that you're not you know, buying materials, you know, a, an extra piece of siding that we don't need, um, and, you know, there can be all kinds of other notes. This is just an example, but there could be all kinds of other notes that tell you, um, you know, help you make sure that you can get the job done uh, quickly and efficiently. Um, so those are really just the, the three things. So just to recap, um, every night uh, before, you know, before you go to bed or the morning before you head out to your first appointment, just take a look at uh, this appointment section here. Uh, look at all the appointments for the day and look at three things. Number one, the appointment start date. Number two, the work order description. And number three, the notes. Um, it's a very quick procedure. It takes about five minutes or less, but it's going to help you make sure you need, you know, you know exactly where you need to be and when. Um, it'll make sure that you're prepared for uh, what you need to be doing out there and it will cut out uh, unnecessary communication and uh, everyone will be able to do their job a little bit better going forward. So thanks for listening, guys. Bye.